this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create business email in Hostinger and connect to Gmail. All you'll need to do once on Hostinger you're going to simply tap on emails from the top navigation bar. After selecting emails you'll be redirected to this page and I want you to tap on manage email right here. After selecting manage email you'll be redirected to a new page and you're going to tap on email accounts. After selecting email accounts, you are going to tap on create new email account. Once you have done that, you can enter the name that you would like to be in front of your domain name as you can see right here. So let's say for example info. After you have done that, you can enter your password. So I'll tap right here and I'm going to be creating a password. After you have created your password, what I want you to do next is you are going to tap on create new account. By the way, you can also enter a recovery email address if you want. After you have done that, you are going to tap on access webmail. Once you have tapped on access webmail, you will be redirected to this page. And all you will need to do now, I am going to simply copy my password from here and I am going to paste it right there. Then I will tap on log in. Once you are logged in, you can enter your recovery email address or you can tap on I'll do that later. After you have done that, you're going to see some pop up with some different features that you can quickly access if you want. But for the sake of saving time, I'll simply tap on I'll do this later. But yet I'm going to close the pop up box. And you can see how your email inbox looks as you can see right here. Once you're finished doing this, what I want you to do next is you're going to open a new tab and you're going to go into Gmail. Once in Gmail, you are going to tap on the settings cog in the top right hand corner. Then tap on see all settings. After doing that from the top navigation bar, you are going to tap on accounts and import. Then you are going to see the option add another email address where you see send mail as. You are going to tap right there. After you have done that, all you will need to do now you are going to paste in your email address right there, your new email address. You are going to paste it in right here. Then you will tap on next. So let me do that real quick. So I will go back here and I am going to copy my new email address. And I am going to paste it in right there. After I have done that, I am going to tap on next. Then from here, right where you see username, you would paste it in once more. After doing that, you would go back and you are going to copy your password or you can simply enter your password right here. After doing that, you are going to go back to this page and you are going to tap on emails once more. After tapping on emails, you are going to tap on manage once more. Then you will be redirected to this page again. Now on this page again, what I want you to do is we are going to be getting some information so we are going to tap on configure desktop app. After selecting configure desktop app, right where you see outgoing server, you are going to be using this information which is the SMTP. You are going to simply copy this, then go back into Gmail and you are going to paste it at the top right here. After you have pasted it at the top, you are going to tap on add account. After tapping on add account, you'll be redirected to this page and you can see congratulations, we have successfully located your other server. All you'll need to do now is go into your inbox and you can simply open the email right there. After you have tapped on open the email, you can simply tap right here. After you have done that to confirm, you'll tap on confirm once more and you can see confirmation success. After you have gotten that message, you'll go back into Gmail. Then from there, you're going to tap on close window. So you can see that you have now connected your email address as you can see right there. So you have now connected your business email address. So we go to send an email if we were to tap on compose. From here, if you were to tap on from, you can see that we now have the option at info. So we could tap on that to change the email address. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.